What's up, my shining stars? Yeah, you, yeah, you shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. That's what's up, right? <laughs> my name is Trinity, and welcome to my channel, all about the healing for my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for all your love, your support, all your messages, all your comments, all your thumbs up and your thumbs down. Thank you for my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. For my energy exchange, those who has donated, tips, donations, whatever you want to call it, whatever you have sown in this channel, you just better know you're going to, you're going to reap that may not be monetary but it's you're going to reap what it is that your whole heart mind your whole existence what matters right what it is that you truly truly need or want in your life that's how important that's how um that's how strong this channel is anointed this channel is this place is anointed right so with that being said on the flip side, for those of you throwing shade, throwing nasty energy, um, black magic, throwing uh, uh, evil eye, sending dark energy towards this channel, towards me, my family, just know that it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Blocked, stopped, not accepting it, refuse to accept it. It's not going to hit. It's not going to block. I'm sitting on my throne faithfully. Me and the divine is one. It is so, so be it. You ain't stopping up. You ain't going to stop no show. It is so. Ashe. Now, we are honoring the sign of Gemini. Bam! That is Gemini. <laughs> All right, so what we got today, and I'm looking at these cards, and I might have to draw some more cards, right? Just one or two, or maybe just one, if I, if I can't get down to the nitty gritty. It's going to have to be a short read, because I don't even have enough time on this camera. I need to start using the camera that I bought, but y'all, I'll be so busy. I got to sit down and see how the thing works and everything but anyway let's get going that's too much information so what we got going on today is the question the spirit wanted to, me to channel to you guys today is why are you not moving forward it's 2022 it's a new year new uh new me i'm moving forward we're going hot and heavy right this january but spirit is saying that Moving for Spirit is saying 2020, 2022 is moving forward in all aspects. All aspects of your life. 2022 is open doors, open opportunities, open possibilities. It is limitless what you can gain in, in 2022. The only thing is, is that you have to believe that you can have it. You have to have faith that is yours, right? So Spirit is saying that 22 so far, a lot of you have got new things. Some of you got new booze, all right now. Some of you got a new car, all right now. House, new money, new job. But Spirit is saying, and you happy and you going on with it, but Spirit is saying that's not enough. Spirit has said all aspects, that mean love, that mean money, that mean spirituality, that mean body, that mean mind, body, and spirit, finances, and love, abundance, success, happiness, joy, contentment, peace. In all aspects of your life, Spirit is saying that you can have, this is the year. You can have 2021 is not 2022. Those things that happen in 2021, it don't have to happen in 2022. 
you have open doors, open portals unto you, right? And Spirit is saying that some of you are content and happy that you thinking that, oh, this new house or this new boo or this new thing, this is what I've been wanting. This is 2020. It's already happening. But Spirit said, no, that's only one aspect. What about the rest of the aspects of your life that's lacking? See, you had your eye on love, but Spirit got a, a, a new business idea for you. This spirit got a new uh, brand that you, that got for you. Spirit got a new job that's coming in for you. Spirit got something new, every aspect, peace, joy, happiness. Spirit got a, a, a plan for your body to get banging and hot. And, you know, spirit got a plan for you, right? So let's get into it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's get into it. All right. So why are you not moving forward? What is the root of the issue? What am I not seeing that needs to be changed? All right. Your overall energy is dust devil. Moving out of stagnation. So this is what we're talking about. Why are, you, why are you not moving forward? A lot of you is in a tower. You're in a tower moment. Everything is breaking down. Everything has, break, has, has fallen apart on the ground. And it's time to rebuild. And a lot of you not moving forward. Moving forward means rebuilding. That's moving forward because that's the next step after everything fell apart. But some of you are stuck. Stuck in, stuck in the place of... Um, you stuck in the tower. After the tower breaks down, after your life falls apart, you go through a grieving process, but it's only for a short period because you have to bounce back. If you don't bounce back, you can get stuck in that grieving, woe is me, oh, my life fell apart. Or you can get stuck not knowing where to go, what to do. So you feel uh, stuck. You can't move because you don't know how. You don't know what to do. You're not, uh, and you so you you don't move forward. You don't you don't put your life back to back on track. See, with a tower, it falls apart, but you start you get up and you rebuild. And when you rebuild, you have learned the lesson. It's a lesson in the tower. You've learned the lesson that. I got to build a solid foundation so this so this never happens again. I can't let my life fall apart again. So this particular time when I build, I'm building something solid, something that's substantial, something that is well stable and grounded and rooted that's not going to fall apart. So with this the answer is, why are you not moving forward? It's because some of you are stuck in a tower. Some of you are um, getting ready to go into a tower. And some of you, someone is sending negative energy and um, negative energy and projecting a tower upon you. It's, you're not in a tower. Somebody's projecting that energy onto you. Therefore, with all that negative energy, you, if you don't really know, See, if you don't feel, if you don't know the signs that that's happening to you, you won't do anything about it. And so it's still projecting and projecting. And you think that it's an obstacle here. It's an obstacle there. Or you moving forward in one aspect, but somebody is projecting that energy off onto you. And so the very thing, let's just say you got a new job and you just going, hey, I got a new job. You know, hey, hey, hey. But spirit is wanting is wanting to open up the door for you to have an inheritance open up the door for you to have love open up the door for you to have more than just a new job but that energy that energy that projection that tower that energy it 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 contradicts what it is that spirit is wanting for you wanting more for you want to give you more Want to see you with more because you deserve it. And so 
that energy. And if you don't, if you don't counteract that energy, or if you don't protect yourself, or if you don't, if you leave things just, then you, 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 you got one aspect that's good, but you miss out on all the other things. What about your soulmate? What about your true love? What about, um, financial stability? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thing. You got a new job. Well, you want to be financially stable. You want four or five different strings of income coming in for you. And you can have all of these things, but you got to pay attention to what is actually going on around you. All right. So with that being said, what is the root of the issue? The root of the issue is that you need help. You need help. I already spoke on, on the people that is in a tower. Or, and I already spoke on the people who are getting ready to go into a tower. And I already spoke on the people who is coming out of a tower but stuck. They're stuck because they uh, don't know where to go. They need help to be able to move forward. They need help to be able to know which things to do they kind of confuse coming out of the tower they don't know which approach what to do what to how to how to build that solid foundation they know that they need to build a better foundation for themselves but how do i do it they need the help they need the support so the root of the issue is that you need to ask for help you need to put your pride aside and ask for help right yeah, you need to put the, put all that aside, ask for help, get with the people who know, and you know that you know. You know you know people who know how to help you, but you gotta you can't have your pride. The pride you gotta put aside, and you gotta go to people, you gotta go to places, organizations um, that could help you come uh, build a stable foundation and help you out of this stuck stagnant energy that's around you or you're getting ready to go through or you have just come out all right so some of you um the reason why things fell apart it fell apart because you was focused on or you was focused or you were obsessed or you were um in a vicious cycle in a love relationship somebody walked away you either walked away or somebody walked away from you but whatever whoever walked away left someone in a state in a tower moment when they left this individual the tower came everything fell fell down to the ground because what was built was not built on a solid foundation and this person left when this person left and fit you where you get in, when this person left, everything fell apart in your life, whoever you is. It could be the other person or it could be you. It fell apart. Um, this is a six. This um, tower that, that came down, um, how to build, how to get it back stable is you got to create harmony in your life. You got to create a good environment, a good mindset, a stable mindset, a stable um, life, a stable way of doing things, being stable, grounded, being one with the divine. Ask for angelic help. Ask for um, your help from your spiritual team. Um, look for signs, wonders, and miracles. Look for signs, uh, angel numbers, for messages. It's a lot of things you can do to start the process where you could come out of being stuck and not and confused and don't know which way to go. Also, um, with the sixth number, communication. Communicate with people that you trust. Communicate with people who will help you move out of this energy and get uh, move into a more stable place, a more grounded place of thinking a more grounded mindset and then you will be able to move forward that's the root what am i not seeing that needs to be changed love call you need to stop obsessing over this person 
okay this is someone that you want to call someone you want to communicate with communicate with someone you want to express how you feel um this person walked away from you and fit you where it get in walked away from you put you in a tower okay this person is teaching you a lesson a lesson that you need to learn this person is a karmic a karmic is teaching you a lesson it's nothing wrong with being a karmic because a karmic it is someone who helps you learn your lessons of life how to be a better version of yourself what you will not put up with what you will not um what what you deserve show you your self-worth your value okay they do all of that it's very painful a karmic lesson is very painful it could take you years to get out of that painful um cycle because a karmic love is very deep is very um it's very magnetic it's a pull it's it's something that is strong and it takes a very strong person to to be able to walk away from that type of energy but somebody did okay and so this person who walked away and they moved on let them move on let the tower fall learn the lesson because I keep telling you, Gemini, I keep telling you, you guys have a beautiful soulmate connection that's coming. I'm talking to somebody here that's saying that, because this is what this is about, that is saying that they looking for new love. Someone that's saying that they have moved on. Someone who's saying that everything is all right. Behind closed doors, this person is grieving. This person is wanting this person back in their life. And if this person is stuck in this stuck in this stagnant tower, vicious tower with all this dirt and all this uh, ger germs and all of this stuff all around them, all of this negative energy, low vibrational energy, woulda, coulda, shoulda, uh, hurt, broken energy over somebody walking away and somebody they have to rebuild their life after this person walked away so you're not moving forward because you can't get over someone who walked away um spirit is saying don't it's not me spirit is saying this is between you and him because spirit says behind closed doors, I know your heart. Behind closed doors, I know what you're thinking. Behind closed doors, I see you. I know the truth. Me and you know the truth. So you can say what you want to say. You can get in the comments and say what you want to say. But I know the truth and you know the truth. And if you want to move forward and if you want the blessings in 2022, the open doors, the open opportunities for you, you're going to have to clean this up. You're going to have to come out of the stagnant energy. You're going to have to stand. You're going to have to stand in your power. You're going to have to love yourself. So I'm able to reward you and give you the love that it is destined for you to have but you keep fighting against it because you keep wanting to call and keep desiring to communicate and keep trying to open a door that i have closed for you i the divine give you the best give you the best you always try to settle for less leave this person leave this situation and let me give you what you deserve the best let me help you come out of the, a dirty situation let me help you rebuild so you can come up higher in the vibration and meet your match spirit is talking to you not me so don't get in the comments and don't get your feelings hurt not me it's not me talking to you because i don't know you like that but spirit does see spirit sees all knows all and wants you to heal that last little bit 
of this. Let this go. I got something better. I got something better, bigger and better for you. All right, Gemini, that has been your quick read. Hit the comments, let me know. Don't get crazy in the comments. I'm not going to have it. If you get triggered, just take the message and move on. Don't comment because I'm not having it, right? So with that being said, hit the comments. Hit an emoji. All right. Uh, thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you didn't. It doesn't matter. Just thumbs the video. It helps, right? Share, share, share. If you share, believe it and receive. If you share, somebody is going to see it that needs to see it. And it may be your person. It may be a, 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 a individual that you want to see it. If they if they stalking you or looking on your page or looking, they going to see it. So that's one way to get the message to them. All right? Share. All right? Um, subscribe come on and join the family right um description box all the information is in the description box um social media is in the description box have at it all right i'm sending you love i'm sending you healing trinity is